Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Today sitting next to me is the brand new 2021 Ford F-150 Power Boost Hybrid. This is easily the most technologically advanced F-150 ever. That means we have a lot to talk about. So in this video, we're doing a full range of tests. We're gonna load up the bed with payload. We're gonna put a 7,000 pound trailer on this truck. And then we're gonna dive into all of the features that make this F-150 such a good buddy when you're out there working. Let's get to it. Let's start with the walk around. So under the hood of this Power Boost Hybrid is a three and a half liter turbocharged V6, which is paired with a 44 horsepower electric motor. And the total system output here is 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque. That's the most torque you can get out of a Ford pickup truck unless you go to a heavy duty diesel. Now, the truck you're looking at today is a F-150 Lariat. And it's funny, I remember when Lariat was nearly a top trim truck. There is now three trims above the Lariat. So this model is actually kind of right in the middle of the F-150 lineup. Now our Lariat has the sport package on it and that means you're getting everything body color. So you're getting the body color grill surround, body color mirror caps. Again, everything goes to this monochrome look. The other thing we get with the package, a nice set of 20 inch wheels. So let's go around to the back now because there's so much cool stuff going on with the tailgate of this F-150. First of all, it is powered. You don't even have to touch the button. Just start lifting, let it go, and up she goes. Honestly, the first time it did that to me, I was really kind of scared because I didn't expect it. It is sort of neat. Plus you can control this using a button up there in the cab. Now, in the tailgate wars these days, and I say that because every manufacturer has focused on tailgates recently, Ford has done some interesting things. They have all these little holders in here so you're able to put all of your tools down. This is for a phone, a pencil, nuts and bolts. They've built this ruler right into the tailgate so if you're out here working with wood, you can measure things. And if you're working with wood, they've put these C-clamp pockets into the tailgate so you can put your clamp in there and actually hold it down. All of that is pretty cool, but I think my favorite feature on the tailgate is right over here on the edge. There's one, two tie downs. Now, why would you need a tie down? Well, it's quite often that you have something that's longer than your bed and your tailgate's open. So whether it's lumber or even the back end of a snowmobile, it's actually kind of nice to have these two tie down points so you can secure it right at the very end of the bed. Before we hit the road, I want to do a bit more of a feature focus on this truck because there's so many cool features. And the one you have probably already heard about is Pro Power On Board. They have turned the F-150 into a generator. And now you're saying, well, what the heck is that thing? Well, this is the generator we normally use when we're out here in the shop. And I got to tell you guys, it's very noisy. And it's also extremely heavy. So the beauty of this F-150 is we've replaced this beast of a unit, so I don't have to do this anymore. Oh God, this thing is not light. Whew. So that's out of there now. You can see the setup right over here. This is Pro Power on board. You're getting 120 volt plugs and a 240 volt plug up there. And the beauty is you can do everything from back here. Simply hit that green button, it turns on, and we have our shop lights back. And wait a second, everybody, can you hear that? Exactly, you don't hear anything at all. When this thing fires up, it uses power that's already been stored in the F-150's battery pack, and then if that power runs out, the engine will kick on, but it just sits there idling, and you know how loud a car is when it's idling, right? So yes, this Pro Power setup has so many advantages compared to that generator, and I have to tell you too that here in Canada, for this 7.2 kilowatt version, you're gonna pay a thousand dollars. Now the other features I wanna go over are here inside the truck. And first of all, for this generation of F-150, we have a 12 inch touchscreen up here in the center stack. Now what's interesting is Ford decided to go landscape with it rather than portrait. I hope I got those two right. And what's interesting is in a Ram, the screen is vertical. It's that portrait and, and Ford went the other way with it. 
and I can't decide if it's because it's better or because Ford just didn't want to be the same as Ram. Um, anyways, that's neither here nor there. For now, let me show you the features. So there literally is a features button down there and it brings up all these neat features. We'll start with driver assistance. And the one I want to show you in here, this stuff is actually pretty standard now these days, but the one that's cool is this cruise control. When you have the intelligent cruise control turn on, it will actually adjust the speed of the truck based on the speed limit. So here's the tolerance button. I'm telling it I want to go 10 kilometers an hour quicker than the speed limit. So when the F-150 reads the speed sign, it will automatically adjust you to 10 over the speed limit or whatever you set the tolerance at. That's super cool. Um, it just makes, you know, one, one more thing you don't have to pay attention to. And of course, if you don't want it, you can just turn it off. So let me back up now. We showed you Pro Power on board. One thing I didn't show you though is this screen. This will actually show you the exact amount of power that uh, the things are plugged in or sucking up. So you know how much juice you're actually using. Now we get to zone lighting. This is kind of self-explanatory, but this is the only truck that has these on the market. And I think this is a brilliant feature. You hit that all zones button, it's gonna light up all the way around your truck, but you don't need all the zones, fine. Just the right and the left, just the back, fine. I love that it's customizable. And of course, here's a shot at night so you can see how bright these lights are. Next up, we have the towing button. So within towing, um, there's a number of different things. First is the connection checklist. Again, I think any uh, of these safety features are always good. It's just gonna make sure that you've done your due diligence and your trailer is good to go. But let me back up again. This is actually the cooler thing is that you can put in specific trailers. So I actually added our snowmobile trailer this morning. Um, and once the truck knows the settings on that trailer, you plug the trailer in, all the settings come up automatically. Next, we have the power running boards here. The only cool things about the power running boards is they have this kick switch on them. So if they don't come out by themselves, you can just boot the switch and out they come. You can see that here as well. Now here's another cool thing Ford has done. The entire owner's manual is right here in your center stack. So uh, I don't know, let's do a visual search. What do I wanna find out about? Let's find out about C, the back C. Oh look, you can flip the rear seat cushions up into a vertical storage position. Now I know. This is literally the entire owner's manual. I think it's smart because you save paper and uh, you can get to it right here in your screen. There's even videos there too. There's so much in there. I can't cover it all in this video, honestly. And then finally, here is the very cool Power Boost hybrid screen. It shows you where your power is going. So I just put the truck into drive. I'm just idling forward and it's telling me I'm doing all electric driving right now. The motor has not kicked on. So you can see the power is just coming from that battery pack. Oh, and there's the engine. So now if I go, you can see the engine is running. Again, a really cool screen that tells you where the power is coming from at all times in this truck. Talking about towing and payload, this truck, as you see it here today with four wheel drive, is good for 11,000 pounds of towing, which is a pretty serious number. Although the payload on our truck as it sits right here is 1,285 pounds. So Steve has covered a tremendous amount of technology today on this new F-150. And frankly, it's the most technologically advanced F-150 ever. So one thing struck me as funny. Why is there still an antenna here, Ford? Tell me, why? I had one of these on my 74 F-100. So there goes Steve on the payload loop. We've got a thousand pounds in the back. However, I got fired. Being that the truck is only rated at 1,280, that pretty much meant I wasn't going for a ride. According to Steve, it's because I had a big lunch. Either way, he's on his own. Now I know you might be saying that's ridiculous. Of course, we all know if dad was sitting next to me, the F-150 here would be fine. The tires aren't just gonna fall off of it because you went over that payload number. But we really did this just to illustrate to you, you know, how 
low a lot of modern payload numbers really are and if you do stick by those numbers how much stuff you can actually haul and the thing with the f-150 here is it has an extremely high max payload rating but those max numbers that they love to advertise are generally on regular cab two-wheel drive trucks with the lightest engine of course today we have a super crew with the power boost hybrid and four-wheel drive and the FX4 off-road package, and all of that adds weight. The weight of the batteries for the hybrid system, the weight of the skid plates, and maybe the shocks are a little bit heavier for FX4, and it goes on and on and on and on. And all the weight you add to the truck, you have to subtract from the payload rating. And that's why on this heavy power boost hybrid, we end up with the payload rating just under 1,300 pounds. So again, yes, in the real world, we know trucks are overloaded all the time, but it's something that you definitely need to be aware of. That sticker and those weights are there for a reason. Now though, let's talk about what is actually going on right here, me driving this truck. And I gotta tell you, with a thousand pounds in the bed, this truck feels beautiful. A thousand pounds smooths out the back suspension so there's no chatter coming out of the rear end. It drives extremely comfortably. I mean 570 pound feet of torque. The engine certainly doesn't notice the weight back there. Um, so again this is the kind of uh, funny ironic thing about these situations. I am right at max payload right now but my butt sensor is telling me that I could go to 2,000 pounds back there and we'd be just fine. And we're back in now, everybody, and I wanna do my squat test. So we've got two barrels in there, that's 1,000 pounds. The truck is not gonna move and we're gonna unload it and I'll see how much she's squatting. So right there, we're talking about 38 and a half inches. 38 and a half, now we'll pull the weight out and measure. All righty, and there goes the second barrel. So let's see how much he raised up. Back to the center, straight up. Oh, interesting. Interesting, so that is 40 and one quarter inches. 40 and one quarter, which means it was actually only squatting an inch and three quarters, which is a little bit less squat than a lot of the other trucks we've tested. And now you can see how it stacks up. Okay, so time to back into the trailer and now I can show you all of the different camera angles here and there really are a lot. So this is the first screen you see, which is the rear end and that overhead view. And let me just turn off the parking sensor so it's not dinging at me the whole time. So over here, oh, that wasn't even the parking sensor. There's so many buttons here. <laughs> How do I turn off my parking sensors? I guess I just don't, it's gonna ding at us. Anyways, over here, we have this overhead view. And what's really cool is you're actually able to zoom in around the truck. So if you wanna check out your rear passenger corner and make sure you're not gonna hit anything, it will zoom right in on it. Alternatively, it'll also show you where your tires are going forward or if you go back and go minus where your tires are going rearwards very cool views there now on this main screen we also have a number of angles so over here we have a wide rear view and let me point out it uses the entire screen Ram does not do this with their 12 inch screen and it's always bugged me so kudos to Ford entire screen and look how big that picture is now that's an even wider angle it's insane how wide this is over here and yes that is big green sitting there um, now we have our angle from the chimsel so if you have a fifth wheel you're going to be able to hook that up really well plus this is a cool camera because you can check on the cargo in your bed while you're rolling down the road and finally, you have this trailer reverse guidance system. Now, we don't have the sensors set up on our trailer, but I can show you in this screen, check this out. You can actually go left and right. And it's just, again, amazing the views we're getting here. There's big green again. And now we can back out of this too. So there's just so many different screens here. And finally, let me reverse into the trailer now. And uh, yeah, they work nice. The cameras look good. And once you get close, there's also this plus button for that excellent zoom in view. And of course the trailer's a little too low, so we'll go adjust it now and get it hooked up. Okay folks, now here comes zero to 60 run in the power boost hybrid. We've got it in tow haul mode. 
Got an empty stretch of road. Come on, GPS. Ready for the race, hit it. Ooh, felt good. That was a 12.1, zero to 100. Not quite TRX quick, but pretty darn quick. And you can see how it stacks up on the leaderboard. Well, now we're out here driving with our 7,000 pound trailer on. You guys just saw that zero to 60 run. Dad, this thing felt good. The low end power felt strong. And every shift, you know, I'm always anticipating the shift where it kind of loses power. This thing didn't, it just kept pulling and pulling. And you know, I chalk it up to the hybrid system for sure, right? You get that low end torque out of the electric motor delivered right away. Um, but you were driving and still are, so how's it feeling from over there? I've driven a number of EcoBoosts now over the years and uh, there's a significant difference by adding that hybrid. Mm -hmm. And you said it too. It just, uh, it beefed up the power band right from, uh, right from go. I've, I've said this a little bit in my intro, at least I alluded to it. I think this truck, it just helps you out in so many different ways, right? It can light up your way at night. Um, it's gonna help you back up your trailer. All those little things which just make it a great work companion. Um, all of that being said though, there is a piece of me, the piece of me that loves my old 85 K10, that feels like it's just a little too much. There's so much going on here. It's overwhelming, A, and B, if any of these electronics fail, there's just, I don't know. There's even a motor in the shifter handle. The shifter handle can go into park by itself. What if that motor fails? Maybe this is a silly argument, but there is a piece of me that feels like this is just, yeah, it's just crazy how much tech is in here. You sound like an old guy. I Jeez. guess so. you're probably right. You know, now you're coming up with the argument that my dad came up with when bought a car back in the 60s and, and wouldn't buy power windows. He told my mother it wasn't about the money, it was uh, stupid motors were gonna fail. So <laughs> we had crank windows, oh my God, way into the 70s. And of course, you know, there's there's cars in the junkyard today, been there for 50, 60 years. If you throw battery in them, the windows still work. So, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, there is that, oh, if it's more complicated, then maybe it's going to fail. Sure, it's certainly possible. However, do we want to go back to your 85K10 crank <laughs> windows? Oh, I thanks. don't think so. So I'm okay with this. Um, but to your point, what I'm really feeling here is just how busy the interior is as far as the amount of systems and buttons and things it's just yeah that part of it is i'm i'm really starting to feel like i wish i could have a i'll take this and don't take that kind of menu sure when it comes to ordering this because of course all this stuff comes in groups past that i just want to say interior wise and what i'm talking about is fit finish materials decor it's it's a home run beautiful uh, absolutely beautiful definitely at the level of ram we've been saying for how many years now that ram set that bar ford absolutely caught up yeah nobody can uh, nobody can say that the interior here is cheap and plasticky no it's doubt. anything but yeah so now we can look at the fuel economy here so with our 7,000 pound trailer on the back we did 19.7 liters per hundred that's over just about 18 kilometers which feels pretty good for a loaded up trailer but now we're gonna go on a longer trip unloaded and we can tell you what that fuel economy is too. And here's an unloaded fuel economy run. That's 112 kilometers, mostly side highways doing uh, between 80 and 100 kilometers an hour. And we managed 10.5 liters per hundred, which is pretty impressive for a half ton. And here's what that is in MPG for all the US folks. Well folks, we are coming to the end of this one. And I gotta tell you, I'm actually struggling to find negative things to say about this F-150. It is expensive, and no one will ever accuse it of being a simple pickup truck, that is for sure. But besides that, all the features here are super useful, and I think of all the pickup trucks on the market, if you are working by yourself, the features on this F-150 will help you the most. 
So like I said, that is it for this video. Of course, I want to hear your thoughts on this brand new F-150 hybrid. So please go down below now, leave us a comment. Don't forget, while you're down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out the join button to become a member of the channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya. Thank you.